Rodri Hernandez wins the Ballon d'Or. Excuse me! Is this Photoshop? Are you out of your mind? How did Vinicius Jr. not win this award? How? You gave it to him just because he won the Euros? I'm sorry, is this an award for the best player of the year? Or the best player that performed well with their country award? <laughs> Going by your logic, wouldn't it make more sense if we gave it to Danny Carvajal maybe? The guy who won the Euros and won the Champions League as well. <laughs> Do these people even watch football, man? The way Vinicius Jr. even moved on that pitch, carried Real Madrid on his back to Champions League victory, to every single victory, man. For that alone, this brother was the clear winner and the best player in the world, man. But you decided to rob him and oh my god i just remembered i made a comment in the el clasico video there was a chance where vinicius jr missed in front of a goal it was a very easy chance and i joked about it i literally just said that watch fifa or the organization of the ballon d'or give the ballon d'or to rodri just because vinicius jr missed this chance and oh my god, I joked about it back then, but it's actually starting to make sense now. <laughs> We're very concentrated on Vinicius Jr. right now, but let's look at the other player, which is Rodri, man. I feel so goddamn bad for Rodri, because first of all, when he came into the ceremony, he was getting booed by the fans that were sitting outside the Ballon d'Or ceremony, man. Which just made me feel so bad. The brother was out there barely having two working legs, right? Barely walking. Coming into the Ballon d'Or. Happy that he's going to win the Ballon d'Or. And then you're out there getting booed. And on top of that, right before George Weah was about to announce the Ballon d'Or winner. They were screaming, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. I'm sure people in the Ballon d'Or was pissed last night because of these two reasons, right? But how? How do you not want the people to act that way when Rodri wasn't even named in the Champions League team of the season? For the love of God, he was not even nominated for the Premier League, the league he plays in, player of the season and they gave him a player of the tournament for the euros right but that could have went either way i think danny olmo had a better euros i think yamal had a better euros i think even nico williams to an extent had a better euros even Danny Carvajal had a good Euro as well. <laughs> they were booing Rodri because on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, this was the form of Rodri. And Barcelona fans, they like to post this one rule in the Ballon d'Or Men Award, the criteria that you need to have to win the Ballon d'Or, right? There's three rules. One of the rules is like showing respect and sportsmanship on the pitch. And then they are pulling out Vini videos of him fighting, you know, being passionate about his game, in my opinion, right? They are saying, oh, it's because of his actions on the pitch. He's always fighting. And one of the rules for winning the Ballon d'Or is having sportsmanship. But what about Rodri? When he literally choked <laughs> with not one hand, but two goddamn hands of a player. What about Rodri in that one exact scenario since you guys are loving to come at Vini? What about Rodri, huh? I'm sure he had moments where he was pissed on that pitch. But we do not bring that up because Rodri is so humble and a good guy, right? <laughs> Another thing people were bringing up last night. This on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Comparing the stats and trophies for both Luka Modric and Rodri. Luka Modric obviously won the Ballon d'Or this season. And Rodri also won the Ballon d'Or this season. Rodri has better stats than Luka Modric did. But will I sit here and tell you that Luka Modric deserved that Ballon d'Or? Absolutely not. Because that Ballon d'Or was actually robbed as well. In my opinion, Cristiano Ronaldo was the clear and only winner and the deserved winner that year of that Ballon d'Or. 
but they gave it to Luka Modric just because he went to the final of the World Cup. And the most disappointing, ridiculous thing that I saw last night in the Ballon d'Or livestream, ladies and gentlemen, the pictures on your screen is what they showed in the official broadcast of the Ballon d'Or, ladies and gentlemen. A picture, a funny picture of a Vinicius Jr. lookalike and a picture of Lamine Yamal holding a baby with Vinicius Jr.'s face on it. First, you disrespect him by not giving him the deserved Ballon d'Or that he deserves. And second of all, you disrespect him in front of millions and millions making fun of his El Clasico loss and just making fun of him in general, right? Which is just sad in my opinion. It was not needed in my opinion. You could have just left that out in my opinion. It got so goddamn embarrassing where he had professional football players. Ribéry, Liao, Kamavinga obviously coming on social media defending Vinicius Jr. Tony Cruz, and you even had Richarlison ladies and gentlemen being on a live stream saying that he threatened to storm UEFA's headquarters and his friends are trying to calm him down with that face right here ladies and gentlemen <laughs> sorry i couldn't keep a straight face there <laughs> richarlison man just just sit down man <laughs> i'm sorry richarlison i don't know this tough guy is persona you're putting on here i know you're trying to defend Vinny and your countryman right <laughs> but storming uefa's headquarters now Brother, just perform on the pitch with for your team. Don't worry about other players. Worry about yourself, brother. <laughs> Richarlison is so angry, man. What you gonna do? Score a goal? I wish you did. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. That was a that was a joke. That was <laughs> Everyone came out to defend him, but Vinicius Jr. spoke as well, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do it ten times if I have to. They are not ready, and genuinely, they are not ready in my opinion. This will be a Ronaldo type story where the FIFA president made fun of him and Ronaldo just, oh my god, became a different animal after that, right? Vinicius Jr. will be the same exact thing in my opinion. He is going to destroy teams. Who are they facing next? <laughs> Whatever team Real Madrid is facing next. Oh boy, you're not winning that game. <laughs> and the last point, ladies and gentlemen, I want to add on, right? Before this Ballon d'Or ceremony, the amount of edits and in the football community that were saying this is the worst Ballon d'Or winner, basically talking about Vinicius Jr, saying how football fell off if Vinicius wins the Ballon d'Or, how football fell off that Neymar Jr doesn't have a Ballon d'Or, but Vinicius Jr has a Ballon d'Or. And then the switch up after they found out that Vinicius is not winning the Ballon d'Or is genuinely insane. I see a lot of you, you goddamn snakes! But that's beside the case, you cannot change that. A lot of people got robbed in the history of Ballon d'Or. This award has lost its value. This award might be in gold, but the worth of this gold is under the goddamn ground, man. Vinicius Jr., you're just another victim in the robbery of the Ballon d'Or. There's nothing you can do about that. They choose the winner. Congratulations, Rodri. In my opinion, you had an unbelievable year. If Vinicius Jr. was not in the picture, you are the deserved winner, in my opinion. But since he was in the picture, I'm sorry. He was the best player in the world. Even Carvajal, I didn't mind. <laughs> and to conclude the video, was this a bigger robbery than Erling Haaland's one last year? I don't think so. What I saw last year, that was the biggest robbery in all time, in my opinion. This can be second. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And gracias, amigos.